Hello, hello, this is Josh from Painting by Josh. I'm just going to give you a bit of a rundown on the method and how I like to do my first coat rolling on a corner exactly like this. There's no need for a corner roller or anything like that. I've been rolling corners um, with just a normal nap roller for, you know, over 20 years now. So in this case where we're just going to go first coat, we're rolling, we want to keep everything as tight as we can and we want to make the roller uh, come completely to the edges. The less cutting in with the brush that we do, the better the finish that we're going to achieve 100%. So what I've got here, I have got the old fields 15 millimeter roller so roller sleeve so this isn't a 22 millimeter roller um, it's not 11 it's a 15 it's the in-betweener um, and this is really all you need rolling corner out you don't need a, a bigger nap you don't need a 22 millimeter nap to get it done make sure the big the probably most important thing to it is loading it up you know if you're gonna only dip it in, you're not going to fully load it up, you're not going to achieve um, what I'm about to show you. So always have a nice well loaded up sleeve, dip it in, and then we're pretty much ready to rock. But I'll just show you the method that I like to do this. So I'll always start on one direction, one direction, 100%. Right. And then I just spread it out, back out from the wall, like that, trying to keep everything as tight as we can. You can see that I've got pretty much the majority of the, the whole one side of the corner and even into, as you can see, like that. So what I'll do now, I won't even dip the roller or anything like that again. What I'll do, I'll just come over this side and I'll roll the tight as I can on this corner as well. And then just bring it out. So I can see, you can see this little bit of an edge here where it's scraped. So there, where it's just scraped down onto the other wall that we've just done. What we'll do, we'll just go down lightly, really close to the corner. That's why I prefer using the 270 roller over a 460 or a, or a 360 or something like that, you know, because you can't do this, you can't achieve this with the 460 roller. So here, see how it's completely done now. Both sides isn't masked, completely covered. Bring it out. You can see it's completely covered the whole way. And I've even rolled really close down to the skirts. Okay, that's what I like to do the whole way. See how closely I've rolled even to the top of the windows. So I try to keep everything as tight as I can when I'm rolling and that's going to eliminate a lot of brush work um, cutting in. A lot, of, a lot of saving time plus you're going to achieve a better finish with no cutting in um, difference finish between your roller and your brush. So that's pretty much it. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to keep on rolling the walls out as you can see. Done all the corners with the rollers as I'm coming along. I'll roll this out and then keep going along this way. But hope this was hope this came in uh, use. We're using the Maverick Super Light Frame Old Fields 15 millimeter Pro Series roller sleeve. And we're using the Dulux roller pole. And we're getting it done, you know. But I appreciate you as always tuning in and watching, keeping up to date with all our YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, we're going to be doing a big giveaway shortly. We're going to be giving out, you know, a box of Oldfields brushes and rollers. 
the new 15 millimeter naps are going to be in there uh, we've got stuff coming we've got a big box from paint access Jacob from Go Industrial and me are teaming up and we're going to have a first, second and third prize. Um, we're going to get it done, yo. So appreciate you as always watching. Stay tuned. Much love. Keep on pumping that paint and pushing that positive, yeah? Respect.